Scotland will be on a currency journey if it votes to leave the UK, Nicola Sturgeon has said in a TV grilling on the economics of independence. In a punishing interview with the BBC's Andrew Neil, the First Minister also admitted voters might not know Scotland's trading relationship with the rest of the UK until after in Dieff 2. She was also challenged over a catalogue of problems in the Scottish NHS, including missed A and E and treatment time targets, record drug deaths and hospital building scandals. Mr Neil put it to her, you've called for legislation to protect the NHS from Donald Trump. Maybe the NHS needs legislation to protect it from Nicola Sturgeon? She replied, obviously I don't think that's the case. The SNP leader was quizzed at length on her plans for Scotland to create its own currency after independence, subject to six economic tests, which her advisers say could take a decade to meet. Miss Sturgeon said Scotland could rejoin the EU on a relatively quick timescale even if it was using the pound outside the UK monetary union as an interim currency after Brexit. Mr Neil said, you're seriously saying that you would try to join the EU using the currency of a country that is no longer in the EU? Brussels wouldn't allow that to happen. Miss Sturgeon said, firstly the pound is Scotland's currency right now. The proposition is that until the conditions were right to establish our own currency, which we've said would be our objective, then we would use the pound to do that. We would have a discussion with the European Union about the journey an independent Scotland was on in terms of currency, and the accession, if Scotland was already out of the European Union, to the point where we rejoined the European Union. You know there is a number of things that would require to be done. After Mr Neil said it was all very uncertain, Miss Sturgeon did not deny it, but said, well look, Scotland faces right now the uncertainty of being ripped out of the European Union against our will. It's not of our making, and we need to plot the best way forward for our country where we are in charge of the decisions that we take. Mr Neil asked how an independent Scotland could accumulate the reserves needed to back up its own currency when it would start life with the largest deficit in Europe, with the SNP's own growth commission predicting it would still be around 3% of GDP after a decade. Miss Sturgeon said, because our task is to get our deficit reducing faster. That is principally through growing our economy faster which remaining in the EU or returning to the EU helps us to do. I think over time of course we would aspire to run a surplus. Miss Sturgeon also rejected the view of the Institute of Fiscal Studies that her Growth Commission's plans would continue Tory-style austerity. She said, I for more on this story, visit the news article link.